Hello everybody and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are ready to jump out into another adventure. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do today, but I've already prepared a team and we have some new people to introduce and we're bringing them all out once again. So first of all, we have Black, uh, otherwise known as Jack Rackham. Um, and this is our privateer, a very interesting class that can do some good debuffing as well as has some interesting healing capabilities. So definitely an interesting one to bring along with us. This is a backstory by Dragonlord, so we're going to get straight into it. It's a rather short one, rather simple, but I like it. A pirate captain who was once the leader of a notorious crew of pirates. His ship and all of his crew were killed on the high sea and his ship destroyed. Jack was washed ashore. Um, onto the shores of the heir's estate. Being nursed back to health, the men pledged his loyalty to the heir for saving his life. Very short and sweet, but I like it. Very interesting one. And we have two other classes here. Um, this, these are both um, backstories by Meme Police. This is Oliver Lafayette, and we also have Lady Vixen, I believe. Vixen? I'm going to just say Vixen. Uh, so we'll get into both of those. This is the Powder Keg. Uh, first of all, a very, very interesting one once again, so let's get straight into that one. So, this is a sort of diary entry that will serve as the backstory. Um, once more into the fire. Ugh, is this really the moment when I keep a, a kind of diary? Well, better late than never, I guess. Besides, others should know something about me, about me before I find my doom and be buried. Okay, enough of the gloomy thoughts. It's time for me to write something. After taking a puff from his smoking pipe and exhaling, Oliver begins to write. My name is Oliver Lafayette. At the time uh, of writing, I am the captain of the Hamlet's town guard. I try to keep law and order in the most cursed place you can ever imagine. Silly, um, silly me. Is it? Oops, sorry, I've read that wrong. Silly me, isn't it? Silly me, isn't it? I served in the army as a grenadier for 10 years and another 10 years as part of the Hamlet's law enforcement. For an ordinary soldier like me, life is simple on the battlefield. It's either you or the enemy. It's a pity that some of the commanders also act so frivolously, neglecting any tactical and strategical thinking. I had a chance to see how um, one fool, having received a high rank for his sharp tongue, killed everyone I ever knew because of lacking of commander's skill. Back then, I still had at least some affection for others. After leaving for retirement, I went to a uh, went to a quiet place um, as I thought possible, and ironically, back then it was the Hamlet. But never mind, you can't go back in time and fix everything. Recently, one of the heirs of the estate suggested to, uh, my return to my long abandoned position as ca guard captain. Reluctantly, I agreed, but it seems this time my choice turned out to be the right one, judging by what is happening. Their mercenaries do an excellent job with the bandits and creatures of the darkness. As for me, I will follow their instructions, but I will not remain indifferent. And if I have to go on a campaign with mercenaries to maintain the peace in the hamlet, I will go. Although I have very little in common with these people. Very, very nice. Really, really cool class. Um, got some interesting sort of bleed and stun mechanics that I'm interested to try out. And yeah, just overall an interesting class. Um, and I think that's going to be quite a lot of fun. Now we have Lady Vixen. This is the Duchess. This is a transformation class that's very integrated with the courtyard. So some interesting stuff there. And one thing I find very interesting about uh, this class is we got some pretty interesting quirks. So we got Genius, which means she ranks up twice as fast, which I like, as, long, as well as Gothic, which is just kind of an interesting like naming convention of a quirk for her. But then the biggest interest is we have Gloomy, other heroes don't find comfort in your presence. And Pessimist, the glass is half empty. These two in combination with each other are going to cause a lot of extra stress on our team members. And I think it kind of fits the class quite well, despite them being pretty negative. So I'm interested to see how they play out as we uh, move forward. But let's get into the backstory. As I said again, this is by Meme Police. Um, Lady Vixen the Duchess. It's just a burning memory. Poor Vixen, a former shell of herself, all her memories of her past life bring only pain to her. All that remained of them were fencing skills and attire. If only she'd just turned down an invitation to the ball. After all, she could not refuse then. Her rival then uh, would have spread a lot of rumours about her. And V, her honour is not, uh, not an empty word. But pride brought her something worse. 
The only thing she remembered that night is that the guests abruptly began to attack each other with animal fury, biting off flesh and drinking blood. And all madness this um, this was a accompanied by was ballroom music. That damned mel melody was like a thorn in her memory. It is not known how long she laid unconscious, but she woke up a completely different person, or the likeness of a person. Also, there was no longer a blooming garden with beautiful statues and fountains around, but a swamp with ruins. A swamp where insects swarmed, and here and there lay swollen and gnarled corpses. And those who were alive looked more like insects than people. But among all of them, Vixen recognized her, recognized her, the bitch who brought her here. She herself is still a monster, but this look from under the fan, V recognized out of thousands. V picked up a sword that looked he uh, pretty heavy to her, but surprisingly she picked it up easily. Shouting curses in the direction of her opponent, um, in and ran from her side, preparing to strike. But the, way was, um, but the way was blocked by the same mutant insects that were once people. Um, v cut them with a sword, forcing her way through. And when, uh, when rage and desire for overwhelming revenge, Vixen then screamed loudly. After which she became exactly the same monster as them, eating those who got in her way. Unfortunately, she did not come out a winner. She was alone, against a swarm of servants, a certain countess, as they called her. Very, very interesting, and like I said, a really, really cool class, and I'm really excited to sort of try this out. I've been waiting for a Duchess to come along for quite a while, um, and I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do today. Um, we've got a few things that we could do. We could go for something here with, like, the Holy Relics. Um, well, this is kind of interesting. A long mission, and for this we'd get extra damage on Onslaught, extra... Um, Damage on the wheeling disengage, and on melee hit we'd buff ourselves with speed, and on range hit we'd buff ourselves with prot. I really like the idea of that. That seems really good. Um, we've got an alluring siren. Have we? I don't even think we've beaten one siren. This would be the first siren, right? Um, we've still got some stuff to do out here as well. And of course, we do have the uh, the Hamlet kill the ringmaster again at some point. But I think we'll actually take on this here. I like the idea of a long mission into the ruins, and I like this idea of the Scorch Saddle. It seems pretty darn useful. Uh, so let's just check that we've got nighttime ambush prevention uh, to some degree on someone. Um, duh. There you go. We've got prevent nighttime ambush there. Lovely. Good, 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 good. Pretty happy with all of that. Okay. So we are good to go. Um, we just need to trinket everyone up, and then we are ready to set out on our adventure. So, let's take a look at damage. We've actually got the highest damage on um, Oliver Lafayette, of course, the um, the commander. We have a lot of damage here. We, we have quite a lot of damage across the board, really. Um, but I think we're going to go... So, I think here we're going to go with, um, with double healing. We'll go with... Syringe as well. That's going to give us really good healing. Now, there is a downside to his heal. It does debuff your uh, move and dodge. So that's going to be problematic. But it does give you a stress uh, boost, which is rather nice. We could also go with the this here. Um, in fact, yeah, let's let's go with that. Let's have the two debuffs and then the, um, the Drunken Shanty. Which we can use once per battle. Um, and then we can also start using the Ration of Grog there. Uh, so that's good. In the back line here, we'll, um, I'm not sure what we'll go for here, actually. It'd be nice to buff that stun chance a little bit. And then, buffing our actual damage on that would be rather nice. So let's go with one damage buff. And maybe we'll just take the medal for the stun chance and such. Good, good. And then here we'll go pure damage, so we'll do 20% there, 20% there. That just gives us a lot of extra damage. Means we can use this spear to do some good damage, get some stunning going on where possible. I like the idea of Nail Bomb, although Nail Bomb obviously won't be super useful um, in the context of going through the ruins, but still. And then here we probably want damage as well. So I think we'll give her the, the torch light there, as well as the extra 15% there. I like that, I think. I think that should be pretty darn good. I think we're ready to go here. Uh, just need to check that we don't have any class specifics that would be better. 
No, we don't. Okay, cool. I think we're I think we're raring to go. We're, we're good. Damn, thirty dodge. Holy hell. Um, this should be a real good crew to head out and do some good damage. Long mission. I think we're ready. Let's buy our provisions. Um, of course, with it being a long one, we want to buy twenty-four food. Although I'll bring a little bit more than. Eh, no, I'll, I'll just bring twenty-four. That's fine. We'll bring four shovels. Three of those. Three of those. Four of those. Three of those. And we don't need many torches. Let's take eight. And we will embark and see what we can get done here. I think this is a good setup, ready to go. And we'll, of course, get into a diary entry uh, to start off this run. So our first diary entry here is actually from our Saw Hunter, um, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, one moment. Okay, here we go. Let's get into this. By Mean Police, this is the Wheeled Sanitaire. When I arrived the very next day, I was sent to a fungal weald. Um, I saw I saw when I traversed the old road. Our group consisted of a rapier fencer, a girl in an antique dress with a broken mirror, two runaways, one of the incendiary mixer and a poker, and the other is a monster with a huge saw and an expensive rare pistol. Quite an interesting group for clearing groves. However, despite my skepticism and one ambush later, our first task went perfectly. In many ways, thanks to the map that we managed to find on our way, I tried to show my best, inflicting serious wounds with my saw and fighting off attacks with a pistol, stunning the enemies, cicadas, pesky, uh, pesky but easy to kill. I thought my costume would be soaked through with the venom because of them. Huge ravens and parasites, clots of slime and forest dwellers with fungal growths on their body. Even people were disfigured with a fungal infection. Although these are more animated corpses, um, after all, we passed by a loft of old small cemeteries. So there were answer So there's the answer to where the fungal corpses came from. And of course, not without those damned witches. It's good that we uh, managed to reduce their numbers. I managed to acquire a beautiful Jude tapestry from one of the witches as well. Neat. Anyways, I need to be more careful with my suit, uh, suit armor, even, um, even if the price will be higher. I think the employer wouldn't mind spending a bit more money on that. If I prove to him that my armor needs better care, Artemis will not always be with me after all. Pity. I will miss her charming voice and the ability to wash away my wounds. Although her ability to transform into a Medusa-style creature makes me nervous. I'm glad she is on our side and endures that massive stress. Poor girl. Because of her dancing disease, Artemis did fall into them fungal traps a numerous number of times, though. Really, really like that. <laughs> As for the others, um, Jack deserved better, in my humble opinion. I had to try pretty hard to keep up with him. And the runny way, Cecil was her name? Sadly, I can't say much about her. I believe she uh, will still prove herself, despite the mania for corpses. Really like that. Int integrated a lot from the mission that we went out on. Oh, secret room already, baby. Secret room line. already. 90% there. Good, good. You can grab that. We'll come back for the secret room, of course. We don't want to grab that straight away. But I like this ragtag group. I think they're going to do a pretty good job. Surprise off the bat's really nice. I think we've got some really good damage here, so we should be doing some really good stuff. Um, We want to go with this first. And go with that. Beautiful. Does mark us though. So with this character we do have a transformation. So we have this which is going to activate repost, which is really nice. We have this which is if we're in the back line we can shoot ourselves forward. This is going to be uh, a way to give us ourselves a protective buff and a massive reduction to crits received and the rest of these skills are all in beast form. Um, as a human it will change into beast form. Um, and as a beast, it will change it into human. It will click cure bright and blight and breed, blight and bleed. It's pretty good. But this for now is more than good enough. And it activates repost as well, which is real nice for us. Ooh, big six damage received from damnation there. Some big hits coming out already, and a bleed. Not ideal, not ideal. But we can go for a nice heal there. Good stress heal and stuff. I like it. Wow, they are. Really going for him. Oh my god, that damnation damage. Good dodge there. Let's change ourselves into a beast. That gives us um, extra stress for the next few rounds. 
And we can go melee and that'll bypass stealth. We can go with this, which will stun and debuff damage. Or we can go with the thirst for power, which will debuff the healing received and buff ourselves. Let's go with that. Nice. First of all, let's remove that bleed, because that's going to be problematic if we don't. Um... Let's just go with this. It's going to move us forward, but that's okay. Give them no quarter. I refused healing. That's really not ideal. Get us a stun there. Will you resist that with a 30% chance? Come on now. Bodies are slightly problematic. We don't have a lot of backline damage here. Tackle comes in for some stress. That healing. Lowering our dodge and move resist is a little bad, but overall not terrible. Nice thirst there. Good, good. All healed up. Nice one. Really, our backline damage is pretty shocking. I didn't really sort of realize that. There you go. I think black's going to be really good here. Do some good stuff for us. There you go. Destroy good, good, good. Nice bit of extra gold there off the bat as well. I like that. Got to go all the way back here to get our room battle done. Like I said, we'll come back to that secret room. Porch. Thank you much, Lee. I'll just pop the that light, now. The promise of safety. We'll actually rearrange these guys back to their default positions as well. Good, good, good. more of these gargoyles. So these gargoyle guys need to be taken care of pretty quickly. Although I'm going to take care of the front guy first because he can cause us some big issues. He should die in pretty much one hit though. Stress is already coming in pretty hot. Not quite one hit but close. Start off with that. I like that. That cackle's really bad. That's some good damage there. I like that. I like that a lot. There's the Empower. Luckily, it actually empowered an enemy that's not so bad to be empowered, really. There you go, we take out that. Nice bit of our repose as well, which is nice. The, uh, the mark there isn't ideal. These guys do have a lot of props. So we're not going to get a kill here. Cruel mockery. Not so bad. That's a lot of stress, but it's, it's not terrible. Yeah, we get one kill there. Really like to get you taken care of. Hopefully this repose does just that. Sadly a dodge there. Fortunate. Not what you want to see. Heal her and get that stress relief going. Seven stress relief is actually pretty decent. Ah, really not a kill. Come on now. More stress. At least we got the repose this time. But the stress is still building. Yeah. Nice one. Be wary. Lovely. Triumphant pride Crack that bad boy open. Dizzying fall. Back over this way. We'll just pass by the secret room and come back to it at the end. Can we come lower our light? That's going to be the best way forward. Pretty cool crew though. I like it. I like bringing out um, Thanatos as well. He's just a good all-rounder to, to bring along for some extra damage and then some extra healing as well. Wow, it's Gargoyle City at the minute. Gargoyle City. So many of them. Unfortunately, they're all prop-based as well, so... I'm going to go with this and lower their speeds. Good damage there. Nice kill. Falls, a faint hope blossoms. Ow. Oh, that's a stun as well. Not ideal. Not ideal. All these gargoyles are just going to cause us so much stress. Not a kill there either. These guys' prot is uh, proving to be problematic. Not getting many skeletons, just getting a lot of stonework enemies. 
consumes the mind. Yeah. Take care of you. This guy we could do to stun, really. There you go. Nice stun. Just skip that turn. Make sure he doesn't add any more stress onto us that we don't need. And I think we want to do this to ourselves, actually, and try and cure some of that stress off. Resisted that stun. That's fine. Get the kill there as well. Lots of stun Success work to deal so with. Clearly of course, the person with no or stress is, is the one that uh, has the 90% chance. Light. Of course, of course. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting this. Got an imposing golem here. I'm not exactly sure what to expect from this guy. Uh, he does have some prop. He has um, two moves. The way is lit. The path is clear. Hopefully we can just wail on him a little bit. Just stun resist. You literally cannot be stunned. Okay. Ooh, you got prot now, I see. Goblet comes out and hits our most stressed member. That's a lot of extra stress. Stress is going to be a real issue here, I think. Hell, we at least get the repose there, but that gives us a stun. Oh, no. This guy's reflecting damage as well. 80% um, damage reflective in shield mode. Another stun. Okay, this is bad. Dude, his stress. Wow, that's not fair. <laughs> that's so much stress to give me. Good. Health is not looking great right now. Thank God for the dodge there. Very helpful. Don't stun you again. You've got to be kidding me. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Good heal there. Good damage. Adapt. Oh, you're going to attack mode. Nice heal there. Holy shit. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. I think now we can use Death Wish here, which will heal the party and heal ourselves. Clear stun. Rather nice. We got him. Okay, those enemies are rather scary. Those enemies are rather scary. I would very much like these busts. Um, I'll take it over Medical Herbs for now. Good. Scouting's very nice here, thank you. Food check coming in. Oh, we got one of these um, slavering cultists. These can be kind of difficult. That's a guard already. Oh, dude, he's going to get a stress check here, isn't he? Not quite, but very close. Very close indeed. We have a little bit of healing on ourselves here. It's rather nice. Oh, really? One off the kill. Match is struck. A blazing star is born. Did that just for the kill. The debuff is also nice, but the kill's good. 23 damage. Good stuff. Nice dodge there as well. Nice, taken care of, and a lovely crit there. How is your stress still at zero, my guy? Somewhat baffling. Somewhat baffling. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Sadly, that requires herbs. I think you can use a torch on these to get full torch light. If I remember correctly. I don't exactly need that right now. Torch here. Use it. As the light gains purchase, oh, we got a sewer. Spirits are I will come back to the sewer um, once clear. I've camped. Good to see that we've got a sewer, though. That's interesting. 
Another free torch. We're getting a lot of free torches here. Not that we need them at all. Another hunger check this early as well. is kind of rough. Okay, not a terribly hard battle here. And we got the surprise as well. Go for the kill here because that gives us a repurst. I'm just going to try and de-stress myself a little bit here. Not a lot, but it might help stave it off for this battle at least. And the only enemy we can't hit decided to hit the enemy with Repurse, which is rather nice. Coral isn't so bad. Empower's definitely rather annoying, especially on an enemy like that. I don't like him having extra damage. I'm leaving him at lower HP because he can survive pretty easily on low HP. Beast form, let's go. There you go, I just want to be able to hit that back line. Your, st your stealth will run out this turn as well. Always got to go for him, haven't you? Always. Get that body out of the way, nice. Minus accuracy as well, there's lovely. And a huge crit there as well, nice. Of course you get another slash in while you're stealth on the guy with the lowest HP. I'm going to hold off on this. I'm just going to nail bomb you. I want to use my grog. Slight stress heal. You're going to get another turn in, but it's not going to be enough damage to be problematic, I don't think. There you go. Hey, nice crit heal. Helps a bunch. I mean, I'm throwing away everything at the minute, but to have to take what I can get. Killer. Right, let's um, let's do a camp now, dude. I didn't bring anywhere near enough food, did I? <laughs> I should have bought. I should have brought a lot more food with me. First of all, we want to do this, and then that, that. That was great. Very useful. Cool. Okay, we'll rest up. That actually worked out pretty well. I'm happy with that. Everyone camps up nice and easy. Heirlooms, lovely. No books, thank you. I'll be leaving those well enough alone. Alright. Oh, Spiders, not too bad. Not too bad. And the surprise. We're getting a lot of surprises at the minute, and I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Start the the little uh, thingy first. By the way, this this guy would be really good if paired with the um, the jester. Another Huge hit there. Cleansed Activates our repost nicely. We get heal on crit as well, which is real nice. Decimated. Another clean kill. I'm almost with a kill there. Not quite. Puts us in danger territory here. Oh, this, this, do you know, we could die here. The blight there could kill us. We'll, we'll have to hope for the best here, but we'll see. Okay, we got lucky. We got lucky. Nice one. Ah, unfortunate dodge there. Really gonna go for him again? Can you just leave him alone for a bit, please? Wow, that was such a weak-ass heal. Why was that heal so... Oh, you get a massive debuff to your healing received, don't you? I forgot about that. What's that animation? Just was stunned there, lovely. Take you out. Executed with impunity. 
Can I use this as you? Yes, I can. <laughs> like I said, I didn't want to put it in my inventory, but getting the use out of it there. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. More scouting's really nice here. Back over this way. Oh, I used that as the wrong bloody person. I thought I had this guy selected. Very much my bad. Ah, oh, balls. This is going to be rough. Oh, this is going to be rough. All of these guys have crazy high prot and we don't have any, like, PS3 prot sort of thing. They do have low stun, though. Let's go for a stun on you. We're going to go for the extra healing here and stuff. Pulling you forward isn't terrible. Well, these guys are going to be rough to kill. Puts him on very low HP. In fact, puts him on 1 HP. Going to have to give him a heal there. Stress is going to be our biggest issue here. It's going to spiral out of control pretty quickly. It's only got one enemy dead so far. And it left a body behind as well. Lobbed its knife at us. Not terrible damage with that. Does deal three damage to us whenever we use it though. This guy buffs other enemies when he dies. So we got to be careful. Heal you up. We can't even hit this enemy at the back, so can't really do much about that. Dude, our stress levels through the roof right now. Martyrdom. Heal, okay, heals the other enemy, damages yourself. That's kind of okay. I can deal with that somewhat. Really need this body to be gone, to be honest. Getting your stress down is nice. There you go. So this buffs the other guy with 15 prop. Annoying, but not terrible. He also has minus 27 accuracy. What is it that's debuffing accuracy? Is it one of these guys' attack? I think it's this guy's attack, isn't it? When he's at low HP. Wow. Oh, really? A dodge? Come on now. Really should have done that myself to get some stress relief, but hey her. Okay. Little bit stressful here, but we can do it. 12 stress healed, that's very nice. Really, what's with the dodges? It's a piece of stone. How do you miss? He got another cruel mockery on us. It's a another goddamn 18 horror. Fuck sake. Come on now, that was stupid. No reason you guys should have missed on that. He's a piece of stone. These nightmares creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now Slightly annoying. Um I'd rather take this than the money right now. I'm going to leave the busts. Still got a lot of battles to go. A lot of battles to go. Uh, this is kind of tricky. we just got to keep pushing through. But unfortunately, we've got, just got a lot of hallway battles. Ah, no. He's fearful now. I didn't realize that I'd get checked during the, the hallway. Of frailty finally claim their due. Okay, at least we're getting surprises on these guys. That's that's helping out a ton. And at least this does good damage. Buffing up his damage would probably be a really good way to go, to be honest. Just buffing it a ton. Damage there. Nice repurse. 
got a kill. Beautiful. We just need more backline, really. Our backline damage is still pretty poor. He's going to be stressing out the entire group now. I'm going to say, thank God you dodged that. Why would you go for him? He's already stressed out enough as it is. Don't give him a heart attack, please. One moment. Uh, once we've really, again... He's, he's already had a heart attack. Just leave him be. Where's well, he's about to. One sec. Okay, let's keep this going. Um, I guess use heat here. Try and get a little bit of stress relief. I'm not liking this, though. This is a very stressful setup. Now, that's, that's a crit I can get behind, but you not killing is slightly upsetting. It's this back line that's the biggest issue for us. Really? You got tennis off that? Tetanus, sorry. Okay, that's not terrible. It's, it's annoying, but it's not the worst. Stop stressing everyone out, my guy. It's not conducive to our success. Okay. Taking care of... These are just hallway battles as well. That's the scary thing. We're, we're having this, this trouble and these are just hallway battles. There's so much more to go. Oh, and we got a bloody burn commander as well. God damn it. Dude, stop attacking the guy that's already so stressed out. Fuck you. Not worth it. Not goddamn worth it. Nah, your stun's really high, unfortunately. Just go for the attacks. Get some damage done. Oh, don't empower him. He has enough damage as it is. You even stealthed him, really? Destroyed. Get deaded. This has been like one of the most stressful runs in a while. Everyone's like health isn't great. Everyone's stress isn't great. Really nail bomb missed both of those guys. Not that it would have done much anyways, but it was an AOE attack at least. Dude! Fucking leave him alone. Why do they do that? So frustrating that they only ever go for the same person. Also, I could shoot through stealth there and I didn't for some reason. Round pound. That's gonna be a stun, right? Yeah. So much stress to, to get rid of. Way too much stress to get rid of. Good miss. I like to see that. Yeah, we're not really able to get the damage off on this guy that I'd like to. Slightly frustrating. Of course, you stress people out even more, because why wouldn't you? Oh, and then you miss. What a great turn. What a great turn. Really need to get you stress healed as well, but I don't want to have a heart attack. Right, that didn't go to plan. Glittering gold, trinkets and Not go to plan. Paid for in blood. Back up this way. Oh my god. Don't know if we will be doing the rats, you know. I was I was planning on it, but right now we're just about going to make out of this alive Even by the looks the of things. Cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. We'll do this and then camp after it. Ooh, hello. We've got a chained giant. Dude, okay. There's our stress check. Masochist. Lovely. Those who covered injury. Find it in no short supply. Got some repairs going on here, but it shouldn't be too bad. Unfortunately, he's unchained himself straight away, which is actually more of a problem than it was before. Trying to lower their speed. Oh, 
Oh, that's put him on death's door, I didn't realise. That's not great. Nice. Refuse healing again. Why? You refuse healing as well. Can I heal anyone on this team? God damn it. Ouchie. How, how long do you have for a purse for? Another two rounds. Wow. Our accuracy has been shocking with Lady Vixen here. I really wish it had been better, but she's missed so many repurses, so many basic attacks. It's getting very frustrating. Oh, you've killed one of your own teammates. Oh, you're ramping up your damage, I see. You're going to have to take you out pretty darn quickly. Yeah, this is bad. Another stress check. Frenzied. Oh my god, this is bad. This is mighty terrible. Quick. Grievous injury. Palpable fear. We can heal off a corpse, that's good to know. Yeah, our backline, I, I really messed up here. Our backline damage is shockingly bad. I think that's one of the biggest reasons we've been taking so much stress. Oh shit, you're on death's door. I did not realize that. Balls. Should have healed you first. Why does that stress people out? Does that have to stress people out, really? Oh, dude, get the body out the goddamn way. Why? Oh, you receive so little healing. It's very frustrating. You're on 160 already. You're about to get a stress check as well. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Um, oh, right, this hasn't gone well. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Go. Prevent nighttime ambush here? Yeah. You got plus 10, lovely. And then we gotta go. Oh, you'll get resolve tested. Ravenous. Great. I'm pretty sure she always is afflicted Ravenous. with Ravenous. Sublimity of the intelligence. Oh, so it has been said. Right, that's all we get. Oh, you all get a, you all get stress at the end of that, do you? Nice. All that was for nothing. There's I don't know. I don't know what to think here. Ooh, this is good. Oh, you bloody fucking idiot. <laughs> what do you have that made you touch that? Is that just your quirk? I think it is, isn't it? No, not your quirk, your affliction. God damn it, that was so useful. You bloody balls it up, didn't you? Okay. Bad for stress. We could definitely have a um, pretty bad time here with uh, stress. Don't you dare give him a heart attack. I swear to God. Oh, why? This is so stressful. Oh, my God. Get back. Oh, you, you, you're not going to let me move, are you? You fucking... Oh, my, I'm hating this. I am hating this. The most stress I've had in a real long time, this. We're going to need a lot more damage than that. Don't you have 30% increased damage? Why, why are you doing such low damage to this guy? Or oh, you pro protected him as well. 
This better be the last battle. Kind of has to be the last battle. Very close to some heart attacks here. <sighs> God. Slight bit of stress relief at least. Something. Decent damage there. Good repost. Thank you. That's bad. That's real bad. One more of those is going to tip us over the edge. Did you dodge that? Why? Why did you dodge that? Did you have to? Really? Get these bodies out of the goddamn way. If you get another tempting goblet off, I'm going to... How dare you. How dare you as life ebbs terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves how actually dare you die already you little shit my goodness the mission isn't even done. And driven into the mud. This is real bad. We've got one more to do here, but we are heading straight for a heart attack. Wow. You had to step on a trap, didn't you? There's a hallway battle too. You can't you can't be serious, game. You actually cannot be serious right now. You can't refuse healing. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, damn it. He heart attacks. Teetering on the brink. I didn't realise. Oh, God damn it. He dodged at least. Good. How much health do you have? 13 crit is like no damage. You have 52 health. Okay, that's a lot. Another heart attack coming in very shortly here. Good. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. A little bit of horror there. Don't you can't be refusing healing at this at this time. Come on now, this is silly. Inspiration and improvement. A devastating blow. This is the most stress I've ever been. These are new people, another heart attack. Great. Why did you attack on your own? God damn it. Right, last battle. Let's see if we can keep it, stay alive here, shall we? Not great. Madman does does not bird well here. Madman does not bird well at all. Right. Nail bomb at least bleeds you good. You're transforming because you can go through stealth to enemies. Good, good. And it heals you too. Don't be dodging on the enemy I need to kill first. Come on now. Madman's going to ruin us here. Ruin us, I tell you. Look at that horror and stress everyone just received. 
We're so close here, but so so far away at the same time. time to perform beyond one's limits. My god. Thanatos, I'm just praying, is gonna be okay. I don't actually know. No, that's a door check. At least we have that move, which gives everyone restoration, but it's still very, very stressful regardless. Come on now. 22, that's huge. And a stress heal as well, that's nice. Cruel Mockery is going to be another heart attack for you. Nail bomb again for more bleed. Actually bleeds the corpses too, which is rather useful. That's some more stress for you as well. Another heart attack coming our way. This is the heart attack crew. Everyone apart from Black has had a heart attack. There's another one coming in. Dude, you can't be dodging on that. I need that heal. At least you got restoration, but you could still die here if you get another heart attack going, which you're going to. Oh, that's a good dodge. Nope, she got another heart attack. She's dead. More dust. Wow. More ashes. Well, More bye, Vixen. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, God damn it. Literally brought her in today. She's gone. The same day. Oh, my God. I just, I hoped she would hit and get a feed there to heal. Didn't work. Didn't happen. Cruel mockery as well. It's another heart attack. That's another heart attack. That's another heart attack. What the fuck? There's another heart attack. Oh my god. Doomsday, why? Just let me kill you. Well, that was fucking awful. <laughs> oh my god, return to the hamlet. Didn't expect things to go quite as poorly as they did there. Um, I apologise to Lady Vixen. She, she was dead before she even got chance to live. Everyone got diseases. Oh my god. Um, yeah. That was... Uh, that was something. That was that was something. A sanguine memory to me. Don't don't really know what to tell you about that. We could bring on a new duchess. Do you know what, Lady Vixen, you have been reborn. <laughs> I don't want to kill you that quickly. How do you spell Lady Vixen again? Um, forget how you spell it. One second. <laughs> Lady Vixen Reborn. I have to. I can't. It's too mean to get rid of someone so quick. I don't know who, how... You you guys can figure out how the hell you explain that in terms of the law. But that was... That was bad. <laughs> that was rather bad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I do have a few more diary entries to go over, but based on what just happened, I genuinely think I think I'm just going to leave those for the next episode. I apologize to those of you that have written for this episode, but I think we just need to leave it there. There's too much stress there. 
And yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.